G'day guys. This here's a video about a release of some software that I've been sort of working on. Originally it was a concept and it was mostly for uh, YouTube streamers. So the idea was somebody may be streaming, they want some real-time feedback. Sometimes the chat can get a little bit overwhelming. So having an application kind of sitting to the side would allow people to be able to essentially just take a, a quick poll of what's going on. So the general idea is that it sits there as a bystander, it just kind of listens to the chat and looks for particular keywords. It's quite easy to, to use. So so to get it started, it's just a matter of actually just for the, for the YouTuber to go to their live chat here, pop that out just to get the ID. So it's a matter of grabbing this ID here. You want to grab everything between the equals and the and symbol. Once you've got that, it's just a matter of popping that into this input edit box here. I'm going to leave this one for the moment because I know that this particular one is, is quite a busy chat. So it just makes it a bit easier. From there, we just hit the open. That will then pop into the chat. And there we are. Uh, it's your choice whether you go top chat or live. Live uh, is a non-filtered version, so that's your call. So now you can see the chat sort of moving along there. And it's really just a matter of adding some words. So I'm just going to put some common words. I noticed R is there, so put that in. The is quite popular. And keeping in mind, you know, you might say, hey, I'm going to put a list of bands. What's your favorite band? And people just need to type out, you know, that particular band. There seems to be a real thing with the letter F at the moment, so I'll just put that there. So now we've got a couple of words. It's just a matter of hitting the listen button. Um, now the, it's actually doing the listen to the, the chat. So at the moment, it's looking for an exact match. So unless someone types the word R on a line by itself, that's not going to count at all. So what we can do is uh, is just put contains. So all it's looking for now is, as an example, F. So whether F appears somewhere in the line. And as you can see, it's now starting to do a bit of a count. You may want, you know, F, but you don't want people sort of going F, 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 because it will count each for like each entry you can just say give me the first match only so if somebody's done a string of F's it will only give you the first one that it hit the next thing you can do is you can say all right look I've got three words here I only want you uh, to to have one count per word because you know somebody could just go F enter F enter F enter and it will count each one of those as well so then I just hit that, and that means that now a person can only use that one word once. Uh, but it doesn't stop them from doing the and ah uh as well. So what you can do if you want to stop that. So if you said to everybody, look, pick your favorite, you can say count them only once. So then that means that, you know, if Joe picks F, he won't be able to say F or any of the others again because he's essentially been counted that one time until the reset. So you can, you know, when you go, all right, guys, you know, do this now, wait for a minute and everyone's done their thing. You can hit stop listening if you want and go, all right, look, there was 28 Fs, four the and three R. So you can clearly see who the winner is. You can reset that. So now everything's been cleared and all of the counts have been cleared, so no one's had any hits uh, this time around. So, start listening again. And um, as we can see, it's it's just starting to count again. You can see a bit of a log, so if you want to see what the system is actually counting, this is just what it's actually looking at. Get rid of that for a second. And just for ease of use, you can save your polls. So if you want to go save as, you know, I know I've got a couple already, so I'll just go say poll five as an example. Now that's in the system, so I can see that sitting there. 
these are some that I've done earlier. They're mainly just testing, but you know, it's like the letter A. Another example here. So it's just as easy as just, you know, picking it out of a drop li down list and, and away you go. Really, that's it. Like, it, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a, a simple, basic application. As I said, keep in mind, the application itself is quite bulky because it is using Chrome as the engine. Another thing that I just need to mention is the fact that code signing certificates are quite expensive. Like, they're between, you know, $100 to, say, $500. I did have a code signing certificate some years ago. I let that expire, I just didn't see the point because I wasn't writing stuff for the public to be using so it's just one of those things, I, I let it expire so I haven't been able to sign this code so Windows will say to you unknown publisher so if you don't try to run it it's just going to say unknown publisher and that's your call. Look, I've got nothing to gain by trying to hide something in this, it's just a simple application, it, it really doesn't do that much. And look, if you do like it and you can think of anything else that you'd like to see in it, let me know uh, in the comments. I do have one idea, and that is that um, similar to Twitter, or you know the, the whole um, polls where you can see bars, like a bar graph, I'd probably like to add something like that in as a separate window where I can sort of embed that into a stream too. So then I can say, hey guys, you know, Let's take a poll on blah, and then they can see in real time, you know, what's what's winning. So that's kind of one idea I, I have. Let me know what you think. Drop the comments uh, in the comment section below. Um, otherwise, have a good day, and uh, it was nice catching up. And uh, see you soon.